This is the Metric Halo ULN8. The ULN8 is an archival quality 8-channel microphone preamp, AD and DA converter capable of operating at up to 192 kHz, and FireWire interface with integrated DSP processing. I'm going to walk you through the features of the ULN8. Let's start with the back panel. Multi-channel interfacing on the ULN8 is done with industry standard DB25 connectors that are pin compatible with Tascam and DigiDesign equipment. Pre-assembled DB25 cables are available in a variety of formats. Here, for analog connections, we have DB25 to female XLR, male XLR, and tip ring sleeve. You can also get specialty cables. Here we have a DB25 to four female tip ring sleeve connectors. This lets you drive four pairs of stereo headphones directly from the ULN8, eliminating the need for a separate headphone amplifier. Next is a DB25 to DB25 cable to patch the ULN8 into a patch bay or other device. Here we have a special 8-channel AES crossover cable that allows you to connect your ULN8 into the multi-channel digital I.O. of another device, such as a Pro Tools 192 interface. Next is a DB25 to AES XLR breakout with four male and four female XLRs, providing eight channels of patchable AES I.O. on a single DB25 connector. At the left of the rear panel, we have a four-pin XLR power connector. This connector can be used with the power supply that ships with the ULN8 or with industry standard camera battery packs. Power from this connector is controlled by the power switch on the front panel. Next we have the mic and line inputs. Each AD converter in the ULN8 can be fed from either the mic or line input on a channel by channel basis. Each mic input is AC coupled, has 48 volt phantom power, can provide up to 91.5 dB of gain, and has 3.3 kilo ohms of impedance. The line inputs are servo balanced DC coupled for outstanding phase coherence and provide up to 31.5 dB of gain. These inputs have a 10 kilo ohm impedance. The selected input signal is also routed to the balanced send connector. For example, if you connect a signal to mic input 1 and select it, the output of mic 1's preamps is malted to send 1 as well as being sent to the converter. Or, if you connect a signal to line input 1 and select it, line 1's signal is available at the send as well as being routed to the converter. The send can be used to feed a redundant recorder, mixer, or other gear. One of the unique features of the ULN8 is the mic send return mode. By combining the mic inputs, balance sends, and line inputs, you can create analog inserts without losing channels. Connect your signals to the mic inputs and connect the balance sends to the inputs of your external equipment. Bring the outputs of your external equipment into the line inputs and in Mio console or using the front panel, select mic send return. You now have control over the mic pre's gain, which is then routed to the balance send and onto your external equipment. The output of your equipment returns on the line inputs, which are routed to the AD converters. This gives you control of the mic pre and an analog insert without using two channels per signal. The ULN8 has eight channels of digital to analog conversion that are available at the line monitor DB25. These outputs can be set at standard line levels or at a minus 30 dB monitor level in the analog domain for optimal interfacing with amps or self-powered monitors. Outputs 1 and 2 are also available on quarter-inch TRS connectors to directly output a pair of signals without needing a DB25 cable. There are eight channels of AES input and output available. The ULN8 works in single wire mode, which provides eight channels at sample rates from 44.1 to 192 kHz. The ULN8 has standard word clock input and output on terminated 75 ohm BNC that can run at 1x or 256x super clock rates. There are MIDI I.O. ports to allow you to connect a control surface without using an external interface. These ports are currently optimized for control surface use only and are only functional while the Mio console is running on the host computer. There are SMPTE in and out ports to allow you to interface to timecode. There's a standard Kensington security slot and two FireWire 400 ports. 
Something to be aware of is that the FireWire ports will pass power coming from a computer or other device, but the ULN8 will not provide power to other devices, and the ULN8 cannot be bus powered. Finally, there's a 2.1 mm coaxial power input. The difference between this and the 4-pin XLR is that the 2.1 mm input is not affected by the front panel power switch. Now let's look at the front panel. 